Hello, I'm Shelby, and this is my YouTube channel, Tech Tangents. This is a bit of a different video for me that I kind of have to make because I'm going to be in a bit of a rough patch for a few weeks or months. I have been renting in the place where I am right now for nearly a decade, and last week my landlord decided to sell the house while the market is nuts, and I have until the end of next month to get out. So I have to start finding a place to go in one of the worst rental markets in years, and I don't know how conducive to filming where I'll end up will be yet. Additionally, a couple of months ago I said I needed to take it easy and tried to make some simple videos. Well, I had to go to the hospital for something that ended up not being an immediate threat, but I'm still not sure what is going to happen with. But either way, I was uninsured because I've been making YouTube videos full time and don't have a traditional employer. and. Now I have a few thousand dollars worth of medical bills coming due. So I'm at a crossroads where I need to figure out what makes the most sense for me to do. Something has to change and I've started to consider going back to a regular job which would mean really cutting down on my time for videos. But before I make any big decisions like that, I wanted to put this out there. If you want me to be able to continue making videos like I am right now and potentially even better than how I am right now then I need your help. And yes, I am asking for financial support. I'll go into how later on in the video, but first I want you to understand why money can help so much and how it can make a difference. Making these videos is expensive. I don't want to get into the exact numbers, but last year I spent half of my income on the equipment that I used to make videos. And I'm not talking about the subjects that I make videos about. Last year I bought a camera lens, audio recorder, capture cards, storage hard drives, and more that was thousands of dollars in just behind the scenes stuff. This year is going to be much the same as I already bought a teleprompter that I'm currently reading and as I try to improve more things like lighting. This isn't me trying to chase perfect video quality. The better your gear is when you make videos, the easier and faster it is. The lens I bought, for example, finally has autofocus and is better supported by my camera. The lights I want to get are brighter and will give my camera more detail to work with, which will mean that I don't have to use noise reduction in videos, significantly reducing my render times. So there are real reasons that I continue to improve the tools that I use for videos. Something more difficult to change is that I also haven't had a lot of space to work with. Almost every video you've ever seen on my channel was recorded within 260 square feet of space, split between two rooms that I have to use for this. And that's not even counting what's taken up by furniture or giant computers. People comment frequently about my wobbly table here, and I know it's wobbly, and I would rather it not be, but I use it because it's light, and I need to be able to pick it up and move it forward to get behind the table for talking shots like this. I don't have space for a dedicated on-camera set. I'm also always asked if I've been able to work on the data generals, and the answer is no, because I have nowhere to physically put the parts to start working on them that won't take up another spot that I need to film videos at. Any one part of those computers would need a whole dedicated workbench for weeks while I work on it a little bit at a time, and I just haven't had the space to set that up. Now I don't know if I'll be able to move somewhere, I'll have that kind of space right now, but I'll probably be moving again in six months or a year when the market settles down so I can get a better deal. So I would like to find somewhere with more space then. Alternatively, I would really like to rent an office space and set that up as a dedicated filming and workshop area for making videos. That would make my life so much easier and not have to try and cram all of my filming stuff into the place I live. Now those are examples of things that are limiting what I can do, but what could I do if I wasn't as limited? The biggest thing I can say is that having more financial support to help with those kinds of expenses would allow me to better set up to make more videos by making it easier for me to make them. Now I really want to make huge videos that take complex topics and distill them down into easily understandable videos that anyone can follow along with. Those are my favorite things to make and are the most rewarding. Subjects like the video on how VGA works are something that I would like to do more of. And I have been researching a lot of topics on videos like this. I have a ton of research and experience into an updated video on how to do VGA capture with dedicated capture cards that required me to build a device that can alter the VSync signal of a VGA connection in real time. 
I've also gained a fully detailed understanding from research and testing of how to rip CDs in a way that best preserves all of the possible data they may contain and how to do it quickly. And I'm also working on a guide for enthusiasts that should take the mystery of how to identify, diagnose, remove, substitute, and replace bad capacitors on vintage electronics. But while I have a lot of research done on these videos that I have been able to work on in the evenings between projects, I haven't had the breathing room to take the next steps to produce full videos because you just have to be consistent on YouTube to stay in the algorithm's good graces. If it were easier for me to make more videos, I could get ahead and spend larger blocks of time on more complex projects that could take more effort to produce. Another thing it would help with are projects that result in physical, tangible things, like the ATX to PC Junior, Coleco Atom PSU replacement, and a new thing I've been working on to try and connect more floppy drives to any computer. These projects all take upfront investment to design and test, and significant investments to make production runs of. I burned savings I had on the first run of ATX to PC Juniors, but I tried to price the kits as low as I could to make them affordable, and then they sold very slowly, so they weren't very profitable when all things were considered. I would love to make more and improved versions of those and finish my other projects, but I don't have the resources to do it. This is one area where just having the capital to start on the projects is the biggest hurdle. Alright, hopefully you can see why I am making this video now. and. All of those reasons aren't even covering the basic things I need money for just to live. So how can you help? Well, I have had a Patreon page set up for a few years now, and I do mention it at the end of every video, but I don't think it's ever been paid much attention to. That is probably the best way to help directly. There are different tiers you can go there and read about, and if you have ideas for other ones, I'm all ears because I don't know what all the best ways to set that up are. I am particularly proud of the hard copy tier though, where everyone in it will get their name printed on a physical sheet of paper on a vintage printer. And I just added a tier where people can get a signed copy of that printout with their name on it physically mailed to them, which I think would be pretty fun. As an alternative option, I've also recently enabled YouTube's membership feature on my channel so you can get some of those same options right here. I've added the same hard copy tier to get your name printed out, but I don't think I can ask for addresses through YouTube, so I'm going to leave the physical version to Patreon only. I'll tell you a bit of a secret though that I've never really seen YouTubers talk about. YouTube Premium might actually be one of the best ways to support us. It isn't as much for each creator directly, but views from Premium subscribers earn multiple times more revenue than ad viewings and work on all channels you watch from just one charge and prevent you from seeing ads. It's not as good as direct support for someone like me, but it's still kind of a win-win for everyone all around. Now, if you don't want to set up anything monthly, and I don't blame you with how many subscription services there are out there now, then I have a few other options. I have a PayPal one-time donation link that is good for just helping once, and I'm finally doing something I've been wanting to do for years and creating actual merch. I've just launched a... I guess the term is collection of abstract designs of vintage devices in the Memphis design inspired style I use on my channel. I'll be straight up with you. I make just a bit less than half of the sale price on these for the standard and premium shirts and about a quarter on the fitted women's shirt because I wanted it to be the same price as the men's. So it's not as much for me, but you do get something tangible out of it that I hope you will enjoy. I will be exploring more options for merch as well, like I would really like to get custom mouse pads made for sure, but I'm open to any other suggestions anyone may have. Well, that's it. Now you know where I'm at with all of this. No matter what, the next few weeks are going to be more difficult for me, so video releases may be spotty for a little bit. And this especially doesn't help for a big video I've been planning for in a few months. But I'm going to keep going with this as best I can. If you are able to help with making videos, I am extremely grateful for the support and will be making all my best efforts I can with the resources available to me. But for now, that's all I've got, and I guess I need to get started on packing. So I'll see you soon with a mail video that I've already recorded next.